Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today's video is like the Avengers Endgame of Pizzas. We're taking leftover pulled pork to a whole new level by making a pit barrel cooker pulled pork pizza. But before we dive in, don't forget to show some love, drop a like, and if you're feeling extra genesis, hit that subscribe button. Have you ever had leftover pulled pork staring at you from the fridge whispering, make me a pizza? Well, today we answer that call. But first, let's talk about why pulled pork and pizza are a match made in heaven. In my opinion, pulled pork is the unsung hero of pizza toppings with its tender, smoky essence. It effortlessly melts with the savory tomato sauce, creating a harmonious blend that satisfies both meat lovers and pizza enthusiasts alike. The juicy strands of pulled pork not only add a delightful richness, but also provide a satisfying contrast to the crispy crust and gooey cheese. Before we get to making the pizza, let's first start up our pit barrel cooker. This is going to be somewhat of a fast smoke. We will not need a full charcoal basket. As you can see, I have a very small pile of charcoal with some applewood chunks right on top. I will also add one full charcoal chimney on top of the pile. While the pit barrel cooker is coming up to temp, let's get hands on with the dough, toppings, and of course that pulled pork. I have some pre-made store-bought pizza dough. This recipe does work with homemade pizza dough. Make sure to remove the dough 30 minutes to one hour before cooking. This will make the dough easier to stretch. Place the stretched out dough onto a pizza stone and pizza pan. Then we will add the toppings, which are marinara sauce, cheese, pulled pork, and red onions. Spread the sauce in an even layer, attempting to get the sauce from one side to the other. Add your cheese, which today we are using mozzarella. Then we're going to come back and hit it with some pulled pork. Now don't be stingy with those meats. The kids and the significant other are not fans of onions, so I'll only be adding them to one side of the pizza. Once you added your desired toppings, throw some barbecue sauce right on top. And now it's time to put the leftover pulled pork pizza onto the pit barrel cooker. Crack the lid, remove the rebar hanging rods, and place the pizza right on top of the grill grate. Then replace the rods, close the lid, and check back in 10 minutes. At the 10 minute mark, the pizza will not be ready, but we are just checking in on the progress, determining if we have any hot zones or if we need to move the pizza to a different section of the smoker. Everything looks good, so I will check in in another 10 minutes for the progress. The whole cook should take between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the temperature of the smoker and your weather conditions. I totally lost track of time and it's been about another 20 minutes for a total of 30 minutes. I'm making sure that the crust is crispy and that it pulls away from the pizza pan easily. In our case, everything looks great. Keep in mind that we aren't going to get a super golden brown crust while using the smoker. And that's because we are smoking the pizza. And it isn't in a super hot pizza oven that is like 500 degrees or higher, so it's not gonna get that super brown crust. Anyways, everything looks good, so I'm gonna pull this off the smoker, let it cool, and then slice up the pizza. And there you have it, leftover pulled pork pizza cooked on the pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. The recipe will be linked in the comments. And while you're in the comments, let me know what are your favorite toppings? Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.